Okay, so I'm annoyed. Yes, I have a new haircut. Yes. Very shave. <laughs> I'm annoyed. Right, stupid me. Because I'm recording this video through, you know, the you can upload straight from your webcam to YouTube, right? So I recorded the video. Pissed off. Fucking pissed off. Right? Stupid computer decided to freeze and refresh everything. So now I have to do this all over again. That was about 15 minutes worth of video gone. Fuck's sake. Right. Shall we do this properly? Okay. Today, I didn't do much. Alright. Didn't really do much at all. Went out, um, had something to eat which gave me the shits. Um. It was a breakfast bap. It had loads of random stuff in it. Gave me the shits. Um, bought a few cool things. <coughs> Went to bingo. Didn't win. Obviously. Um, and yeah. So that was that. Um, I'll show you what I picked up. Tell me guys if you like my hair by the way. I like it. I think it looks cool. I picked up for Xbox 360. Ah, TNA Impact. Don't ask you why I picked it up. I played it once before. Okay, I played it once before, quite a few times before actually. I didn't like it that much, but I just want to see what it's like on Xbox 360 because I haven't played on Xbox 360 before. I've only ever played it on PS2, so we'll see if it's any good. What I like about it is the fact that it's got two discs. I was after this version for a while. I've never, that's why I haven't picked up on 360 for a long time. You got the game, which is standard, all right? The game. Then you've got this, a bonus disc. And it has, from what I remember of seeing it at my, my friend's house, it has the first ever match there was ever films for TNA on it, and a few others. And also, the discs are fine, by the way. It only cost me a fiver, so this is brilliant from CEX, right? And it's got a reversible poster, which is quite cool. One side big up on the wall, I think. But that's cool. Um, so that's one game. And it's the second game, Tomb Raider Underworld. I was a very big fan of the PS1 series. Played a bit of it on PS2, it was okay. Haven't played it on 360 yet, so I thought I'd pick it up. Another fiver. The disc's fine, it's perfect. Um, what else did I pick up? This is going to be a shorter video, I tell you. <laughs> Two, well, you guys obviously know I'm a big fan of Star Trek. Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, and Voyager. The original series didn't really like that much, and Enterprise is just crap. How can you have a theme tune with all that silly singing in it? It's bollocks. And uh, the guy that was in Quantum Leap. Was it? I think it's the guy that was in Quantum Leap. But whatever. I was... Right. Voyager. The Q and the Grey and Macrocosm. And another Voyager one. Extreme Risk and In the Flesh. That's that. Um, now, um, I have recently dug my original Xbox out of the loft. Don't know if you can see it. You probably can't. That's my bed. Right. Over there. Ah. Let's see if I can get this, this program I've got with my webcam to zoom in. Let's have a look. Okay, so there it is. It's very, 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 very blurry. But it's also got a Mega Drive on top of it, which I also dug out of the loft, which is cool. Um, where is it? Up a bit. All right. So you can see my horrible new hair. <laughs> yeah. But um, I've been playing it with a wireless controller. Mad Cats. Yes, it's good. It does the job, okay? It does the job. But it keeps losing connection, and I prefer not to have it wireless anyway, because I have to keep using batteries. You've got three batteries in the back, three double A's. You have to open up this little 
slot here. If anyone wants it, let me know. I don't want it. I want to get rid of it. It works perfectly fine. It just keeps losing connection when the battery's good low, that's all. So I ordered one of these from Amazon. Three pounds all in. Postion packing and itself. I thought it was going to be an original Xbox controller. From what you can see of it, it is an original Xbox controller. Without the Xbox thing in the middle. Oh, look at that, you can actually see the YouTube logo in the Xbox thing. Because <laughs> I'm recording from webcam. Um, but that's all. Um, now, yeah, it, it plays alright. The joysticks are. Well, no, let me find the joysticks. Because I'm doing it through it. The joysticks are good. They're responsive. They do the job. They work. But. These buttons I don't like. Look. The original Xbox, Xbox controller doesn't do that. It doesn't click. I don't like clicking. It doesn't hit in. Um, the buttons aren't the same. They, well, they're see-through and they're not very good. They do the job. I know I've got an original Xbox 360 controller somewhere, so if any, uh, but I don't know where it is. So if anyone could please be nice enough to donate me a original Xbox controller, either the big massive one, which I would actually like to have one of those. I don't know why, but I want, I want one of the big ones. Or one of these. It's up to you guys, but if you could please, please, please donate one, I'd be so happy. Ooh. Right, I'm having to repeat myself all over again. This is really annoying me because I've had to do this video twice now. I found this in my cupboard. This. World Wrestling Federation Superstars WrestleMania the album. Can you see who's there? Macho Man Randy Savage next to Bret Hart and Tatanka. Macho Man Randy Savage died this week, which I'm quite upset about because he was one of my favourite original um, wrestlers from the 90s. Rest in peace, dude. And I found this on the tape. This is cheesy as hell, I'm telling you. Really, really cheesy, but it's funny. you like it, if everyone wants to play. Um, I have a stereo over here. And that's why I've got these two speakers at the top. Tower of power, too sweet to be sour. Funky like a monkey, ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's my speakers anyway, let's have a look at my speakers. Game Boy! Game Boys! That's the stereo that I've got next to in my big unit. That's my hard drive. He did. Well, that's how cheesy this is. This is this. I just find it funny. But basically, that's that. Uh, <laughs> it's very cheesy. But rest in peace, old man. Perform for as well. Um, what else did I find? <laughs> Found this as well. Mr. Beam and Smear Campaign featuring Bruce Dickinson, Elected. Really good song. Uh, I've heard it years and years and years ago. I'm a very big fan of um, Mr. Beam. Listen. But now I'm going to play you a bit of this Mr. Bean. It's it's very, very funny. Um, there's the tape. Um, yeah, it's, that's the right way. You obviously must have heard this before. The video is on YouTube. It's a very, very funny video. Right, here we go. Uh, to be. 
<laughs> Bruce Dickinson, check this out actually. I'm about to start to show you guys. Where is it? Love of God. Don't need a fake. There's me and Crusher. Where is it? There it is. Me and the man. I met Bruce Dickinson. I'll just keep that in the camera for a bit. <laughs> Alright, well that's that. Um, I've rubbed it in for far too long. Alright, so I'm going to go now. Anyway, <laughs> I'm mad. I'm hungry too. Alright. See you guys later.